Good morning! Welcome to my new kitchen. So I spent the last two weeks moving and it has been hectic. I was literally going out of my mind, but the good news is I'm 80% done. I wasn't even planning to move out from my old home, but my old house was falling apart and was just not safe for me to be there. But I'll get into that later. Okay, let's talk about what I'm gonna eat today. I'm gonna have shashuka. Shashuka? Shashuka? <laughs> shashuka egg breakfast. I think I got that right, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna have salmon with mashed potato for lunch. I'm gonna have panna cotta for dessert, which looks so freaking amazing. Oh my God, I made it already. It's in the fridge. I'm gonna show you guys later. And I'm gonna have tofu or tempeh for dinner. Tempeh, tempeh. Let's do tempeh, because it's been a while. I hope I don't mess up in this new kitchen, although I'm so excited to use all the new fancy stuff, but I've been using a broken oven for six years. Six years? And it literally shattered about two months ago or one and a half months ago. So there was no way that I could use an oven at my old home anymore. But anyways, I'm gonna make my breakfast now and hopefully I don't burn my food. <laughs> I don't think I'll burn my food or maybe I'll undercook my food because I have no idea how to use a functioning oven. Okay, let's cook. So here are all my ingredients. I'm just gonna chop up my capsicum first and chuck it in a pot. I gotta be careful because guys, I literally burn my boobs. Like, again! Look! I'm not trying to strip, I have a spot spray underneath. But seriously, my skin peeled off again. And it's oozing again. I was so sad yesterday and the day before. I'm feeling a little bit better today. The scar on my legs is still so prominent. I'm not even over the burn on my legs yet. Like it traumatized me. So instead of rambling for five minutes, long story short, I was cooking teriyaki chicken. I flipped it too hard and had a hot flaming fire piece of chicken land on my boobs. Yup, that's how I got scarred by a chicken. I have to put waterproof tape on my boobs every night before I shower now. But yeah, I, I need to be more careful guys, like seriously. Oh shit, I'm not paying attention and my capsicums are way too big for shuck. Kuka, shashuka, shashuka. A lot of you guys are new to my channel, so you probably don't know that I burned my legs about nine months ago, and it was one of the worst experience ever. It was oozing for like three weeks because it was so deep. It was, it was a third degree burn, guys. I thought it was second until I saw my dermatologist. He was like, girl. Girl. It was a third degree burn. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that because you guys can watch my old videos if you want to. Oh. So yeah, just getting my veggie chop nicely and slowly because I don't want to cut my fingers. <laughs> I can do this. You can do it without any injury, Chloe Ding. You can do it. Slow and easy. You can do this. All right, that's done. Now I'm gonna add my canned tomatoes. It's just crushed Italian tomatoes. They are generally the best Italian tomatoes. They are a lot sweeter. If you have fire roasted tomatoes, those are really great too. Now some cumin, very crucial ingredient, I reckon. And now I have harissa seasoning. I just got this recently. I've never tried it before. So I'm just gonna, you know, wing it today. So now I'm just gonna stir fry this in the oven. <gasps> On a stove. And I'm gonna add some oil as well. Where is my oil? Hmm. I'm not really good with gas stove because I haven't had one in like 10 years or something. It's always electric and I actually prefer electric because I feel like it's a lot safer. Some salt. So while it's cooking, I'm gonna heat up some butter on a cast iron pan and then I'm gonna transfer this in here, add the eggs and then pop it in the oven. So while that's cooking at the back, I've got myself a loaf of bread. I baked this two days ago. It's gluten-free and it tastes so good. Like seriously, so good. Can, can you guys see how amazing it looks? I don't have a recipe for this, guys. It is a packaged product and it turned out really amazing. It has a good balance of carbs, protein, and fat, and I love it. it tastes so good. It's not dry and crumbly at all. It is nice and moist, just how I like it. I'm gonna cut this up, put some butter on it, and pop it in the oven. Now I'm gonna transfer this onto this pan. I'm gonna pop in four eggs. Come on, then, come in here. Oh. And now I'm gonna put some 
feta cheese on top. These are dairy free, but I have butter on my dish, so it's kind of pointless at this point. You can use olive oil if you don't take dairy. Okay, we're gonna pop this in the oven now. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna leave it in there for about six minutes. Let's just hope that it works, okay? Mm. Oh my god, this took me forever. So I'm finally gonna dig in now. The egg's so soft, like it's like jiggly. Mm. You gotta try this out. It's really, really good. And the egg yolk is cooked perfectly. Like it's not too hard, not too soft. It's just perfect. Like it's al dente. If this is not perfection, then what is this? Oh yes, very nice. Mm. I'm gonna have a few bites of this before I talk about my house situation because this is way too good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Why are you gonna be so good? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, healthy. Lots of protein. Tastes amazing, not complaining. <laughs> so anyways, I want to get into why I moved up from my old home. First, it's because I need a new filming set. The studio that I used to film with, which I have been filming with for the last one and a half years, is not that great. A lot of people thought that that's my home. Like seriously guys, that's such a big place. Second reason is obviously my almost broken home. It's about to fall apart. My stove hasn't been working for maybe like close to two years. Not fully not working, but it's just slowly getting worse. Like at first it was just one stove that's not working and now it's all of it. So it was really difficult for me to cook. I had to use a little gas stove. And at one point, about one and a half months ago, or two months ago, my oven completely shattered. The glass completely shattered. So it was like a sign telling me like, girl, you gotta move out. It's not a safe place for you. The roof is not great. The hot water is not working. Seriously, the hot water. The hot water issue that really pissed me off because it could be boiling hot for like two seconds and then it, it, it turns really cold. Which I reckon is the main reason why I burned my leg because I was doing things that I had to do, which I thought I had to do because I didn't have hot water at home. <sighs> it's just such a miserable experience. So I bought my old home like about seven or eight years ago, I can't remember when, when I still had a job and my intention was to actually remove the home, like tear it all down and build a new home because it was really, really old and it was not great and that's the reason why I could afford it. But I did not have the fun then so I decided to just move in and live in there for a while. And I was thinking of renovating it, but at the same time, it was not worth it. It would cost me so much money to just renovate the hot water, the toilets, which are not working as well, which I'm not even gonna get into. So yeah, I, I didn't renovate the place because it was just not worth it. And so when this COVID thing happened, I was like, you know what? I really need a home because I was supposed to move to LA this year. But since that's not happening because of COVID, we needed to find a new place. We found this place within a week and I guess because it was quite far away, so it's quite affordable and also because of COVID. So the rent prices dropped. So I was like, damn, I got a deal right here. So we're gonna stay here for a year and see how it goes. And maybe I'll move to LA next year once it's all over. So I guess that's a quick summary because I don't want to bore you guys with my life story. At least I got a kitchen that's working now, although I just burned myself because of a new kitchen because I'm not used to it. Like really? But yeah, I'm going to sort out the place because this place needs some sorting. And I haven't worked out in so long. I was supposed to work out the day before, but I burned myself. And, and so I stopped working out because I don't want to aggravate the burn area over here. So yeah. I'll see you guys for lunch. I know the color palette does not look like they belong together. Orange and purple, like really. Really. <laughs> but I know for a fact that my king salmon tastes really, really good. Well, I tasted it already. It tastes so soft. So if you want like really soft salmon, go for king salmon or king aura salmon, which is what I have. They're a lot fatter, so it's a lot softer when you cook it. And also, if you want really creamy mashed potato without the excess fat from cream or milk or too much butter, 
go for like Dutch cream potatoes. They're so creamy. Like you just need a little bit of butter and some almond milk and it will taste so creamy and soft and just silky. Guys, it's silky. It's really good. And also these are not bananas. It's eggplant. Mmm, creamy man. Creamy. This is seriously one of the best dish ever. The color doesn't look right, but it tastes right. I think I'm quite certain that I'm gonna film here, right in front of me. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna have my lunch now. Um, I don't wanna have indigestion. I hate eating and talking at the same time because it's not good for digestion. I like to practice mindful eating. So I just eat on a table without talking or watching anything because that's when I feel like it really helps with my bloating and I don't bloat as much these days. I still do bloat, like today I'm a little bit bloated because it's right before my period. I don't bloat as much as I used to anymore, which is amazing. And I think I'll make a video about that soon. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys in a sec for dessert. I think it's about to rain, but just look at my dessert, guys. Look, it's panna cotta. It's really, really nice. I've been making it, but not as pretty as this. This is ombre. Normally, I'll just make it like just one colored because, you know, I don't care. It tastes good. But today, today, I tried to make it pretty for the video. It's so good. Like seriously, like what the hell is this? This is so good. Oh, oh. oh my God, I'm gonna dig in. I try not to eat this right after my dinner because it's gonna cause indigestion, mixing all my food together. I'm just gonna have a little bit now and then I'll have a little bit later. Move the topping away. Ah! The recipes of everything in today's video is at the end of the video. Mm, this is unreal. The whole point of putting the berries on top is just for aesthetic reason, guys. Like, you don't need the berries if you don't have berries. It tastes as good without the berries. Mmm. It's so soft and creamy. <laughs> it's just almond milk and so good. It's high in protein. Like, look. I need to show you guys up close. Look, it's so jiggly and soft. Oh my god. Mmm. Dinner is ready. It's so easy to make. Just chop up everything I have here put it in the oven and I have my sweet sesame sauce here very good so you can just add more if you want it more tasty I've added quite a little bit so it's good it's very good so just a disclaimer guys I don't cook like this every day like, I mean like I eat these food all the time but I just don't dress it up nicely like this I gotta increase my production value when it comes to putting out videos on YouTube like I think you guys like it that it looks good I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like this all the time. Normally, I would just put all the ingredients on a plate and that's it. Like, I, I wouldn't even bother dressing it. So yeah, I don't cook like this all the time. Although, I'm so full today because I had a hazelnut butter, which I made today with my toast. Guys, I really love hazelnut butter. I go through it so quickly. You don't need Nutella. All you have to have, all you need to do is to put in some hazelnuts, some cacao powder and some sweetener and it tastes amazing, like really amazing. So yeah, I'm not too hungry. I have my potatoes, my midnight blue potatoes here, tempeh, eggplant left over from lunch, some capsicum, squash and zucchini, and the sauce. This potato is slightly sweet. It, I won't say that it's like sweet potato because it's just a potato, but it has a sweet tint, hint, hint, hint. So it's really good. This is my leftover mash, which I'm gonna have for tomorrow. I like to cook my potatoes in bulk. So the resistant starch is gonna increase after the potatoes have been cooled, which is really great for the gut. It's gonna increase your fiber intake, helps you go to the toilet, and also it decreases the glycemic index. Mm. Especially when there's a bit of fat in it. Mm. But yeah, I think that's all for today's video. I, I feel like I've been eating all day. Let me know if you guys wanna see me eat more. I mean, I'm not gonna eat in front of camera. Like I say, it's gonna cause indigestion, but I'm going to. Mmm. 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 
Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and all of that. Also, I forgot to mention that I have a new program coming out in two weeks. Two or three weeks, so watch out for that. Don't forget to turn on the notification button if you want to join in with the new challenge. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.